it's time to look at some more hex components. Today we'll be looking at one integration and two front-end components. We'll start in a couple of seconds. In today's video we'll be covering two weather-related components. One is an integration and the other one is a front-end component. But there is also one additional hot thing that you can look at. And that hot thing is the 10th year anniversary of today's sponsor or PCBWay. You still have 14 days to enjoy the 10th anniversary tour on the PCBWay site. And the link to it will be down in the video description. If you have previously used PCBWay, the site will present you with the information about your account. When did you order your first PCB? and much more. Plus, there are some exclusive coupons for all of you to check out. I did manage to make an order just a day ago, so I already used one of my coupons. If you watch the promotional video for at least 30 seconds, you can receive exclusive badge. And mine is... the blue one, which is awesome because I do love blue color. If you want, you can also join the fun and mark your location on the map so that the other people can also see your country listed on this big globe. But PCBWay is not just giving coupons and badges. No, you have option to buy a badge for the charity sale. Proceedings from buying those badges will go towards the charitable organizations. And last but not least, you can also enter the lucky draw to win some of the prizes. I got Bluetooth digital amplifier board. ESP32 S3 Nano Development Board and also one additional Bluetooth Digital Amplifier Board. So don't forget to check out the PCBWay 10th anniversary site and see what else can PCBWay do for you. Let's start with the first hex component and this one is called Check Weather. As always, if you do end up installing this component and you do like this component, don't forget to give the star or at least a star to the developer so that he knows that he did a great job. What is check weather? Check weather is a binary sensor that changes state depending on the data provided or pulled from the weather integration. And you can use it for a couple of things. For example, the author is suggesting to use it as a bike day to notify you if the day is good to ride a bike or not, because there may be rain or something else. If it's walkable weather, for example, the temperature is above certain temperature and there is no snow or rain, or as a simple binary sensor that will just warn you if there is a rain or not. So let's get started with the installation. There are two ways on how you can add this integration to Home Assistant. One is by clicking this link here, which should open up the hex if everything works okay. Or the other one, copy the URL here, and then inside Home Assistant hex, click on three dots, custom repositories, paste the URL that you have just copied, as category select integration, and click add. Now you can click on explore and download repositories, type in check, Click on check weather and download it. At the time of the recording, the latest version is version 0.3.1. Download. And since this is a hex integration, we will have to restart our Home Assistant. After Home Assistant has finished startup procedure, go to Settings, Integrations, click on Add Integration and search for check weather. Click on check weather. Don't forget that this weather integration needs to provide you with hourly forecasts so that the integration can check against those values. Let me select, for example, this one here. Then you specify how many hours you want to check in the future. Eight. Instead of that, I will type 10 hours. What is the minimum comfortable temperature for you to go for a walk, for example, or for bike ride? Let's say that this is 14 degrees. Maximum precipitation, or is the rain expected or not? And the maximum comfortable wind speed. Click on Submit. And we now have one new device. And that one is called check weather. We can see that we have one binary sensor and the current state is off. That means that it is not recommending me to go outside. And we can check the attributes to see what's going on. Condition rainy, so there will be a precipitation. Strong wind is false, but we still have this rain information here. We have bad weather time when the bad weather will start and the cold temperature is also false because it's definitely not cold. Based on any states of the sensors, for example, if it's windy, rainy or cold, it will be in the off state, not recommending for you to go outside. And what else can you do? You can, for example, rename and call this one go for walk. But you can also add additional entity. Let's check four hours in the future. Minimum temperature, for example, is 
24 and leave everything as is. Click on submit, finish, and then you can have multiple sensors. For example, this is a go for walk and this one is ride a bike. This way you can have multiple sensors that can tell you if it's okay to go by bike, to walk somewhere, etc, etc. And the next front-end component is comfortable environment card. This one is very simple, it takes parameters out of sensors that are already existing in your home and it tells you if the feeling is good or bad in terms of the conditions inside the room, so you know what you have to do, for example, increase or decrease humidity, temperature, etc. So let's get cracking with the installation. In the Hacks frontend, click on Explore and Down Repositories and type in Comfortable for the Comfortable Environment card. Click on Name and click on Download. Since this is a front-end component, we just need to download it and that will be it. The latest version at the time of the recording is version 1.7.9. Download, reload and it's done. In the UI, click on Add Card, type in Comfortable for the Comfortable Environment card and we can start configuration. For example, I will take the data from the living room sensors. A room will be living room. We can select the sensor for that room. First one is the temperature sensor. The next one is humidity sensor. How many numbers do you want to see after the decimal point? The default is one. You can select what indexes you want to show. Default is all, but you can see heat index and also discomfort index. What information do you want to see? And do you also want to see the real values? And this is how the card looks. Let me quickly add a couple more rooms. For these three rooms, we can see the information. For example, heat index in this room is 26.2, which is actually lower than the current real temperature. And the heat index should also be good. But this comfort index is 22.73. Less than 50% of the population will feel discomfort. Similar is for the dining room. And we have information about Luca room. In her room, heat index is 28.26 degrees, it is in caution level, and more than 50% of the population would feel uncomfortable in that room. This is a really neat way to present the values from the sensors that you currently already have installed in your home, from whatever sensors you have. Some of these are pulled from the Tado, other ones are the Zigbee Akara ones. Don't forget to give a like to this repository and also to this video if you do enjoy it. And the last front-end component we are covering today is this one here. The name is HAVPD Chart for Home Assistant or Vapor Pressure Deficit. It takes data from the existing sensors and creates charts. In order for us to install it inside the Home Assistant Hex, we need to copy the URL. Copy this URL. This is the URL to the repository. Go to Hex, Front-end, Three Dots, Custom Repositories, paste the URL. Select category Lovelace, click Add, and that should be it. And if you search for VPD, you will see component named Home Assistant VPD Chart. We want this one here. Click on it, press Download, Download. At the time of the recording, the latest version is version 1.3.5, and reload the browser. Inside UI, you can edit easily by clicking on Edit Dashboard, Add Card, click on Custom Home Assistant VPD, for example, for the living room, I've entered the name living room, temperature sensor and the humidity sensor for that room. If you click save, this is the chart that you will get. Current value is right here. But you can also use this with external sensors too, for example, for the balcony, your yard, garden, etc. And this is the chart in case of my balcony values. It is currently in the red. If you hover, you will see the values. Currently outside temperature is in the danger zone. But if we position ourselves directly on the dot where our current value is, you can also see the history. It went from under transpiration up to the danger zone. Or in case of my living room, it hovered with values somewhere around here. I know that this integration plus also the comfort index will not help you that much because you cannot automate things with them, but they can help you visualize the data that you already have inside your home assistant. So if you did install one or the other or any of the integrations I've covered in this video, don't forget to give star on the GitHub repositories to say thank you to the author. And while you're already here, read the joke. I'm reading a book on the history of glue. Can't put it down. 
I hope that you did find this video interesting and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it will tell YouTube that this video is good and that more people should see it. Also, while you are already there, check that you are subscribed. If not, hit on the subscribe button so you don't miss on the next videos and of course my streams. And as always, before I end up the video, I would like to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, liked or commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and become a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, as always, you can send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.